Number 10. Off to a weekend Champions League. Um, so, um, one, three. If I can win this one, that's four out of ten. Um, you know, pretty decent compared to how many games I've actually played. That uh, my goalkeepers had a, uh, you know, a stinker, I'll put it that way. Uh, but trying to not get upset about the fact or try to blame the goalkeeper or blame anybody for, you know, the game that I've just played and just enjoy the spectacle, really. The reason why I'm trying to teach myself to do that is to give myself the best opportunity to actually make something to maybe not have myself as uh, you know make it worse for myself um, because I can't change the fact that my goalkeeper is not performing <laughs> you know it's just the way it is um, so and you know you wouldn't believe how many things I've learned just by playing a game like this like FIFA for example learn the composure the ability to just you know stay cool calm and collected even though you know i've blown so many chances for example my players have blown so many opportunities uh, back in the past when i was younger i would just lose my cool you know or maybe you know sometimes even break the controller uh, just smashing it on the floor because here i am i've done everything i could and i still lose the game um, but as you get older you understand that this is all uh, a waste of time um, you know having a, uh, a hissy fit about something you can't control so you, what you do is you control the controllables and you know something that you can't control just get over it it's not your fault that the, for example, your goalkeeper is not doing what you know the stats suggest he should be doing, <laughs> which is like taking the the easy goals. Um, the you know, well, this is an easy goal, but I mean, you know, catching the ball when he should be you know catching the ball. Instead, you know, he would run forward instead of throwing himself at the ball um, being in two minds instead of you know stopping the cross he just sits there and watches the ball it's fine um, it's not up to me to you know tell the goalkeeper yeah, you should do this you should do that uh, but it all, all takes experience to understand that you can't control every aspect of your life. You can just understand that it's not up to you. Not everything is up to you. It's also, there's also other things involved that make it what it is. Um, and I've still tried to work it out, and I don't think I'll ever work it out. You know? If you, you could work out, for example, the con uncontrollables, you know, it's like, it's almost like you've worked it out. You worked out the basics of it. Because if you can control um, the, you know, if you can think on the spot and work out exactly why why this is happening to you, for example. Um, and if you can twink, uh, tinkle with it, uh, change it, change something, or, you know, a strategy or whatever, um, then, you know, you're definitely onto something that most opponents will only dream about. Uh, or actually wouldn't even be able to dream about because they don't even know it's possible. So, you know, like I was saying in my previous game, I can't remember which game it was, um, 
probably five games ago. Um, I was talking about how emotion is the foundation of your house or your life or whatever you want to call it. And then, uh, you know, you build your life, you build your house from the foundations. Or you can try to build it the way you, you know, you start from the from the, from the roof, you can just build the gut, you know, the, the walls first. But then you want to have stability. So, you know, and emotions is the foundations. So if you're really uh, fiery and, you know, you've got a lot of passion, and you have that, uh, you know, strong, highly strong person, you know, you, you know, everything is just all about firepower and, you know, um, everything is just so, you're just so angry about everything. You might excel in some industries, some professions, but it will come and bite you because once you, let's say, you achieve success in something, you know, you will, you know, other aspects of your life will, will struggle unless you change. And people who are set in their ways is because they're successful at something. Uh, it's very hard to, you know, like the saying goes, it's very hard to teach an old dog new tricks. Uh, why? Well, because... Because that dog knows how to get what, what it wants. Uh, and why would it want to change? Well, for growth purposes uh, but what if the dog is stubborn and most people who are really good at something in their lives they tend to be stubborn about everything else because why change a successful formula um, because they're short-sighted they do not see that there is so much more growth to, to be had uh, with other aspects of you know of their lives um, and I'm also talking from personal experience as well that you know, if you can achieve um, success while being di diversifying your skills and being um, flexible and ability to adapt to change uh, I think it's a very good uh, attribute to have is to be flexible and adaptable to lots of different circumstances, scenarios, environments. And I'm sure very successful people would, would agree with that. Uh, I don't consider myself successful or anything along those lines, but I do understand that, you know, you're your greatest enemy. And you can only achieve success if you are um, uh, eager to learn and that is learn from your own experience but also learn from other people and willing to you know step a level down to learn from a particular person um, no matter what it is in life. Um, you know, uh, if let's say you have your emotions down packed and your foundations are because your emotion is down packed and you, you're cool headed, calm and collected type of personality and that's your foundation set, so you have your foundations all um, under control. The next level I feel is you know, your feelings. So your feelings come down to... Um, your feelings are not as volatile as your emotions. But the feeling gets, you know, it's feelings from the emotions. So if you have... If it's cold outside, you'll feel cold, right? So the emotions pick up um, 
emotions get imprinted by how you feel and vice versa. So I'll give you an example. You have a particular, you, you get yourself in a situation where someone doesn't understand you and what you're trying to explain and you get yourself um, tangled up in something that uh, you, you know, you don't feel like you, you, you feel like you're being misunderstood. Um, that would frustrate you. So you start getting frustrated. So you feel, you have a feeling of frustration. Um, so put it this way. So you could have your mind could get your cleverness could get you into a, a I call it a pickle or get yourself in a, a situation where you are misunderstood by someone else or by somebody or a group of people or whatever and you you end up getting yourself tangled up due to your cleverness or due to your you know um, ability to uh, work things out with your mind, you end up getting into a frustration, frustrated situation, um, and you get frustrated, and your feelings get you um, feeling not good about what you got yourself into and you start getting uh, emotional about it oh he's quick so he's obviously his mind was not there he started getting upset about it and then his feeling for the game was not there so he lost the fun because his feeling wasn't there anymore and his mind was saying like I will never be able to come back so his mind quit um, and once he started getting emotional uh, that was it there's no there's, he's, you know he wasn't looking at a screen anymore he was looking at uh, you know nothing um, and due to that he decided that you know he wasn't having fun, so what's the point of playing? So he quit. Um, Henry was on the, on the way to getting man of the match for sure. So I put him on the bench for the last couple of games because he wasn't performing. Put him back in this game, the starting lineup. And come out firing nice well, there's my fourth win so I've got 10 games left and um, if I lose all 10 which I won't be, let's say, I'll, if I win 3 out of 10, that's 12 points. 22 plus 12 is 30, 34. And then the other, the other 7 are just points, 41 points. So I'm pretty much, you know, still going to get really good rewards, but that's not what it's all about anyway. Sign out.